Hello all. Uh, today's uh, topic for discussion for the AV presentation will be on maxillofacial processes. Uh, myself, Dr. Divya Bharati Silvam, Senior Lecturer, Department of Prosthodontics from SRM Dental College, Ramapuram. First and foremost, we should know what is maxillofacial prosthesis. It involves the rehabilitation of the patients with any defects or disabilities, either intraorally or extraorally, that occurred due to either congenital or an acquired reasons will be provided within prosthesis, which is so called as in maxillofacial prosthesis. There are different types of maxillofacial prosthesis. One will be extraoral, another one will be an intraoral. Extraoral prosthesis are the ones that is going to rehabilitate if there isn't any defect apart from the intraoral cavity, like your missing ears or nose or nasal or the eyes, orbital portion, ocular portion, everything. Whereas intraoral maxillofacial prosthesis, they are going to rehabilitate if there isn't any defect in the maxillary or mandibular arch or the entire removal of the jaw due to cancer. And that may lead to many difficulties like majorly the food intake, their speech, and there will be an opening exist between your nose and the mouth that lead to a water leakage into the nose when they are drinking with the water and majorly the psychological issues because of the unesthetic appearance. So here I'm going to deposit with increased presentation of Ms. Pratiksha, 17 years female, who has uh, uh, got uh, affected by a dentigerous cyst on the left side of maxillary arch. Here the prosthetic diagnosis is Aramani class 2 maxillectomy defect where a part of the maxilla has been removed on one part or one side of the arch especially on the posterior aspect. So the prosthodontic management here will be providing a surgical obturator for this patient. A surgical obturator it is going to act like a plate so that that is going to cover the defect and close the space which is present between the nose and the oral cavity. And that could be given immediately after the surgery. So from the time of surgery or at the time of surgery, within one week of time, if you're going to give an obturator, so that that is going to helpful in a day-to-day -day feeding and, and that's going to improve with the ailing and prevent any further infections will be an immediate surgical obturator. After a period of three months, they are going to get rehabilitated again with an interim obturator, which is in temporary kind of in processes that is going Going to enhance with the healing of the defective tissues and followed by once there is a complete healing after six months or one year of time we are going to provide them with definitive surgical obturators so before even before a planning of the case or even before the surgery execution of the particular case oncologist surgeons and maxillofacial prosthodontists they play as a team role where they're going to decide how many number of teeth and how much of the portions they are going to remove based on that we need to as a prosthodontist fabricate a immediate surgical obturator within clear acrylic resins along with the clasp that is going to be present either on the adjacent or the contralateral side of the arch in order to support within obturator. After the initial period of healing, after three months of time, till that they're going to reline if there isn't any changes, adaptational changes in the oral structure is going to happen. After which we are going to fabricate a maxillary arch interim obturator for which the maxillary impression is taken with an alginate and an hollow space design has been created so that the obturator will not be in solid one where it is going to create an hollow space so that it will not going to be a rock solid or the weight of the obturator it is going to get reduced with this kind of design. Finally, after the adequate healing, after six months of time, the patient has been again recalled and they have been examined whether there is a complete healing happened. As you could see in the picture, 1, 1, 1, 2 and 1, 3 on the other side of the arch, where 1, 2 and 1, 3, they are devitalized with a crown of the color you could able to appreciate it clinically. And followed by IOP was taken to reconfirm the same. And due to the position of the 1 1 to correct in order with the adjacent tooth. So we did a root canal treatment for 1 1, 1 2, 1 3, along with which the precision attachment has come. To cover the defect area, the acrylic portion of the uh, acrylics was used along with the acrylic teeth, where again the hollow space design was. Uh, 
used in order to reduce the weightage of the obturator in order to secrete if there is an any mucosal secretions that is going to collect on a regular basis the patient will be able to cleanly maintain it and patient was more comfortable when wearing this kind of an obturators compared to an solid type of an obturators. So as you could see with an occlusion on the right lateral, frontal and the left lateral view and we have provided with an infra occlusion so that there won't be any excess occlusal traumas will happen on the defect area. So that itself can affect with the retention of the process in most of the MaxFAC cases we'll be providing with an infra occlusion. So before the treatment, before the obturator only with the defect the patient felt really discomfort even in the speech drinking water, food intake. When you can see this video deposition, you'll be able to appreciate there is a difficulty in pronunciation of words, difficulty in holding with the breathing also. So here it goes. Age? So you can see the difficulty in pronunciation of these words. Uh, when after the treatment uh, of uh, with the obturator, you could really appreciate the improvement of certain words in an immediate and she got adapted to the obturator in a very quick manner. So you could be able to differentiate the before and after the insertion of the obturator. As a maxillofacial prosthodontist, we are not going to rehabilitate only the missing tooth structures. It involves even the missing heart and the soft tissue structures like your ears, eyes, nose, everything, and even the vaginal stent when the patient's going to have in gynecological issues. So as a maxillofacial prosthodontist, I'm proud enough to present with this case. And thank you all.